Hi everyone, this is the seafloor in Papua New Guinea, near a place called Fisherman's Island. As you can see, it's incredibly biodiverse, just full of life, all different kinds of fish and lobsters and sea urchins, just teeming with life. But it has to have hard bottom, complex seafloor reef material to thrive. The men and women at Fisherman's Island three years ago signed a compact with us where they agreed to stop dynamite fishing in exchange for new reefs. Away. We kept our word and they kept theirs. So recently we deployed the very first man-made reef in the entire country of Papua New Guinea. We placed 21 fish reef units in 36 feet of water Hi. off of Fisherman's Island. Okay, That's right, the eagle has landed because this is historic. The people of Papua New Guinea have chosen to take ocean health into their own hands and moving ahead, making their ocean healthier and more productive because reefs are rare and they are a limiting factor in the production of marine life. The more reefs you have, the more marine life, the more biodiversity you have. And marine life is a form of national wealth, especially in a place like Papua New Guinea that does not have a dole system or a welfare system where people often need to turn to the sea for their food, for their sustenance. So therefore having robust, thriving coral ecosystems and the related fisheries serves the people. It is the ultimate form of benefits sharing for the citizens of Papua New Guinea. This historic reef, known as PNG-1, will allow plankton to settle and grow and become greater life forms such as coral and fish and lobsters that will become the wealth for future generations of citizens of Papua New Guinea. Here we are on our way to Fisherman's Island with Pacific Towing deploying the first fish reef units. And there she is, PNG-1, on the seafloor. And in a few years, this reef will yield robust coral ecosystems such as this one made in the Caribbean and this one made in Indonesia. The ocean's a complex place, so we have a number of different types of reefs that we use to meet the needs of every specific marine ecosystem that's out there. The ocean changes, the chemistry changes, the marine biology changes, so you need different types of reefs for each situation. Here's the first tenants of the new reef. A whole family of clownfish moved in just two hours after we put these reefs on the seafloor. And we look forward to monitoring these reefs for years to come and sharing the videos with the population of Papua New Guinea and providing first quality science to the people of Papua New Guinea and the entire world. So I'd like to thank everybody who is part of this project, and I'd like to thank you for helping ocean life thrive.